Welcome to Logic 10.5. Here are my favorite 10 new features. Live loops is the biggest workflow change possibly in Logic's entire history. In addition to the traditional linear tape recorder based approach we use in Tracks View, we now have a brand new completely non-linear way of working. Live Loops lets you capture your ideas and musical phrases independent of the timeline. You arrange your loops, samples, audio, or MIDI recordings into a grid of cells. These cells are organized into vertical columns called scenes. Scenes or cells are triggered freely, either by the mouse, key command, hardware controller, or logic remote, all in sync with Logic's project tempo. Capture your performances and experiment with different arrangements of your musical phrases. For Logic users, this is an entirely new way of thinking that will free you from the tyranny of linearity. Instead of focusing on what comes next, focus on the kernels and nuggets of each individual idea, then string them together later. A lot of people will make comparisons to Ableton Live. What's cool about Live Loops is that it lives right inside Logic, so you can use it side by side with the tracks area and your timeline. If you haven't tried Live Loops in GarageBand on your iPhone or iPad, you can use that to start ideas wherever inspiration strikes, and then with iCloud, open those up to do even more in Logic. We've been waiting for a new EXS24 in Logic. The wait is over and it was definitely worth it. We get not just one new sampler, we get two. More on that in a minute. Sampler is a powerful new redesign of the EXS24 with a cool new look, but completely backwards compatible with all your existing EXS24 instruments. It's great for drag and drop instrument creation. And I personally love that it automates lots of the tedious parts of creating multi-sampled instruments, like creating and mapping zones and groups. You can build complex instruments in minutes. Sampler has two complete sets of filters taken directly from Alchemy, and they can be run either in series or parallel. The enhanced modulation matrix is way more intuitive with some added routings, and I love that all the sample and zone-based editing and mapping all happens in this single window. Simply hide or show the modules you need. Quick Sampler, the baby brother of Sampler, lets you take any single sample or sound source and quickly transform it into a playable instrument without the fuss of dealing with zones and groups and routing. And Ableton's simpler users will love Quick Sampler's automatic tuning capabilities and its ability to sample directly from any live sound source. Quick Sampler works with lots of sources. You can drag in audio from the Logic browser from any region in the timeline, from apps like voice memos, and you can even record right into it using a microphone, external hardware, or even from a bus. Quick Sampler recognizes the kind of sample you drag in and provides the right editing controls. Slice mode for working with drums, one shot for individual hits, or classic mode for musical content. Drum Machine Designer is a great way to build kits and play with the sound of each kit piece. If you haven't used Drum Machine Designer before, now is the time to check it out. Apple has done some really cool things to Drum Machine Designer to integrate it with the new sampling and beat making features. Instead of Ultra Beat, Quick Sampler is now the engine that drives Drum Machine Designer. In addition to the usual pad based knobs that control the underlying plugins, we now have sample level editing control over each pad. Every pad on Drum Machine Designer can have a different set of plugins on it. One of my favorite new features is the ability to remap the MIDI output of each pad so you can easily layer multiple pads to be triggered by the same note. A lot of people create beats with samples. Drum Synth is a new plugin that creates all of its sounds using software. Drum Synth gives you synthesized kicks, snares, toms, and percussion pieces with custom sound shaping controls for each kit piece. You can use it on its own or right within Drum Machine Designer. Drum Synth is also great for layering sounds. I love using it to layer several kicks or snares together, each with different envelopes to emphasize different qualities of the combined sound. 
Step Sequencer is a brand new pattern-based editor designed for programming beats, bass lines, melodies, or effects. You can work with any kit or patch from the sound library as your sound source. Step Sequencer lets you quickly create beats by clicking steps on and off, but you can go deep with pretty sophisticated row-based and even step-based editing controls. I love how easy it is to generate rhythms with evolving permutations and variations using the per row looping and step skipping functions. Step Sequencer comes with a collection of patterns to get you started creating beats or melodies. It works great with Drum Machine Designer. The Step Sequencer grid automatically adopts the same colors, icons, and names of the kit pieces. You can even use Step Sequencer patterns in your live loop grids. You can now perform tasks that used to take a number of steps and complete them in just seconds with simple drag and drop onto track headers. For example, you can create a drum machine designer kit or sampler instrument by dragging and dropping samples into the tracks area, then immediately start creating a step sequencer pattern and even move them directly into a live loops grid. Depending on whether they are audio or MIDI, you can create new quick sampler, sampler, drum machine designer, or alchemy instruments with simple drag and drop. Remix Effects is a new multi-effects plugin that allows you to perform EDM and DJ style processing on any track or even over your whole song mix. Personally, I love the filters, the repeater, the gate, and the distortion, but I think the wobble algorithm is really an ingenious hybrid effect that everyone is instantly gonna fall in love with. This is the effect I never knew I needed and now can't live without. Remix Effects works especially well with Logic Remote, so you can perform the effects using multi-touch control. Remix Effects was originally designed to work with live loops in mind, but the developers gave us a present by making it available as a mixer plugin to use freely on either tracks, subgroups, or the full mix. Logic Remote is a free app for your iPhone or iPad that pairs with your Mac and gives you tactile control over Logic. You can do tons of things with Logic Remote, like multi-touch mixing, playing instruments, operating your transport, keyboard shortcuts, and browsing sounds. But this new update really comes alive when you use it to perform and capture live loops and remix effects performances. And last but not least, there are always some hidden gems in every Logic update. I'm often noodling around on the keyboard when Logic isn't running, and invariably I come up with something interesting that I don't want to forget. Now we can finally use the Capture's recording function to capture what we're playing in between takes when the red record button is off. There's also a ton of fantastic sounding new content, including great starter grids to get you going in live loops. Amazing that any of these 10 features is reason enough to jump in, but it's when they're combined together, they become so much more. So run, don't walk to the Mac App Store. This is all free for current Logic Pro 10 users. And if you use FL Studio or Live, these may be some of the features you've been hoping for in Logic. And you can take them for a spin with the current 90-day free trial Apple is offering. And of course, these new features come along with everything else that already makes Logic a great choice for music production. 